What's up, Blue Rip Nation? So, in honor of Halloween Ends coming out, I decided to uh, re-watch the movies in that universe. I'm going to do another video, probably release either today or tomorrow, about the Halloween timelines, because that is weird and why, but whatever. It's not the topic of this video. This video is the original Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween, you know, title right above top, John Carpenter's Halloween. Originally, I think, called The Babysitter Killers. They came to John Carpenter and said, we want you to do a horror movie about babysitters getting murdered. And he came up with Halloween, complete with the inside out, spray painted William Shatner mask. I mean, what is there to say? This is like the OG horror movie. I mean, okay, yes, we have uh, Psycho, which is kind of, you know, the original slasher film, which, you know, it's cool. It's Jamie Lee Curtis, the star of Halloween's mother was in Psycho. So there's even a legacy to it, but it's it's just fun. It's because I believe it came out in the '70s. So all the tropes that the '80s slasher films would take and run with, Halloween came up with. John Carpenter came up with. But of course, he's John Carpenter. A bunch of young kids, high school kids, um, partying and kind of being out on their own and drinking and having sex and kind of being punished for it, being murdered for it. Um, the monster you know in the, the 50s we had the universal monsters which all really came from literature you know werewolves frankenstein dr jackal dracula um dr jackal and mr hyde the invisible man and they made them into movies and you know they started the whole monster craze but the 80s was very very much slasher films and it was taking new monsters based on what is going on in society now or then and making them into movies and making them into the zeitgeist and a crazy person who essentially a serial killer was it's kind of what Jason is he's this kid who's disturbed and kills his sister really for no reason and then he comes back to keep killing he's put in a mental hospital escapes and then just wants to go back home and start killing again really for no reason in the first movie there's no reason for it he's just He's a sociopath. And there's something about that that is so interesting and intriguing. And, you know, in the, the other video, I'll get into, you know, the different reasonings that they've given them. But it is interesting that the original slasher character, the one that started the craze, was really just a sociopath. There was nothing really inherently special about him. I mean, okay, dude didn't want to die. He got shot a bunch of times, fell off a second story, got up and walked away. He's not exactly normal. But it was just, it was very much the premise when you rewatch the movie and you it, it, forget all the things that all of the many different versions of the sequels tell us. He's really just this guy who wanted to kill people. And... I don't know what it was like in the 70s, I wasn't born yet, but I'll tell you right now, that seems very realistic, because it seems to be happening all the time. It, it's weird how sometimes these older movies feel so relevant today. Like, they're talking about things that are happening, especially John Carpenter movies. I mean, you watch They Live, you can't tell me that that doesn't directly talk about what's going on in the world right now. But if you haven't seen the original Halloween, you are missing out on something that is iconic it's a classic for a reason and it it starts the trope of the final girl you know the the good girl the pure girl being not only the last survivor but the one that stops the killer who saves the day and that has been something that horror movies ever since have latched onto and held onto and said yes we like that idea let's go with that um because it's interesting, it's engaging, it's something that was different from things that other series were doing. It's, it's the OG, and while I may be more, uh, have more of a preference for Jason, and even Freddy, uh, you can't talk about horror movies and slasher films without Michael Myers. He's the original. Without talking about Michael Myers. I mean, he's the OG. Um, but it's definitely something to check out and if you want to but it's definitely something to check out and it's a movie that I've seen hundreds of times and still holds up there's just something about that original film that 
none of the sequels in any of the many different versions they've made has ever been able to touch. There's a little bit of that John Carpenter magic, especially that soundtrack. But uh, anyways, till next time, I'm Jonathan, and give us legends.